Hello friends, welcome to Dev's Coding Hub and today this will be our second video on Visual Basic series. So in this series, I'll explain Visual Basic step by step and you'll learn how to create exciting projects using Visual Basic. For this, we need to know how to start Visual Basic. So if Visual Basic is installed in your computer, you can click on start. Search for Visual Basic by typing. See, it is already searched. Just click on Visual Basic to run it. So, when Visual Basic starts, it comes with new project window. This is the new project window. And in new project window, we have a lot of project types, out of which standard exe is selected already. So, this is a default project type. And if I want to create a default project in Visual Basic, I need to just click on open. So this will give us a new project. Now let us understand the Visual Basic interface so that we can easily develop our application. On top of the window, we have a title bar which shows the name of the application which is Microsoft Visual Basic. And before that, we have the project name and currently we are in design mode. So these three informations are there and at the top left corner we have the application icon. If I click there, I will be able to restore. I will be able to maximize. I will be able to minimize. And I will be able to close. So I am not closing this now. And at the right side, we have the minimize button, restore button, and close button. The same thing can be done from here also. Beneath the title bar, we have the menu bar, where we have different menus that are available in Visual Basic. And after that, we have the toolbar. This is the toolbar. This toolbar is also called standard toolbar. As because it shows a standard set of operations that can be performed while working with Visual Basic. Suppose saving the project or opening the project or like that. Now, after that, at the left side, we have something called toolbox. Why it is called toolbox? Because this particular area contains a lot of different different tools which are necessary for designing the application interface. Now, where we can design the application interface? Application interface can be designed on top of a form. And this is the first form that is automatically created when the project is created. This particular window is called immediate window. When the program runs, it is shown here. Then, this particular window is called the object view window or the design view window. Because here we can see the form and we can use the tools to design the interface of the form. Now, at the far right side, we have the Project Explorer window. This Project Explorer window is used to show the name of the project, which is Project 1, and the name of the form, which is Form 1. Now you can notice that Project 1 is written within bracket also, and Form 1 is also written within bracket. Whatever is written within bracket is the file name, and Project 1 and Form 1 are the default file names. As because we haven't saved the project or the form, the extension of the form as well as the project are not available. So let us first save the project and see the difference. So I'll click on save project button under standard toolbar or I'll go to file and then click on save project. If I click on save project, I'll be able to see the save file as dialog box. Let me create our files in a different location. It is by default stored in VB98 folder. So let us select D drive. I've selected D drive. I have already created a folder called VB projects and another folder called VB6 projects. You can select any one of this. Project is already created. So I'll create another folder. So I'll write FP as the project name which symbolizes first project. I'll hit enter twice to go inside FP. Now I'll be saving the form. A form is always saved with an extension of .frm. 
So I'll give the name of the form as FRM, the denote form, and after that underscore FP. So the name of the form is FRM underscore FP. And if I click on save, see there is a change. The form is saved with an extension of FRM and its name is FRM underscore FP. Now this particular file name is used for saving the form as a disk file. And this form one is the object name of the form. When we write code, we don't need the file name. We need the object name. For writing code, we'll be using the form name as form1. To refer to form1, we'll only use form1, not frm underscore fp. Similarly, this project may also be saved. To save the project, we've already got the save project as. So I'll type prj for project underscore fp. So prj underscore fp is the name of the project. And the extension of the project will be .bbp that stands for Visual Basic Project. Let us save. Now see the name of the project is changed to prj underscore fp.bbp. So form takes an extension of .frm and project takes an extension of .bbp. Now as I have saved the form as well as the project, I will show you the project explorer window. This is called the project explorer window. Here project as well as components that are part of the project like forms, reports, modules, all are kept. At present, we have a single project and inside that, we have a single form. Its object name is form1 and file name is frm underscore fp dot frm. The next comes the properties box. Properties are nothing but some attributes of a particular object, like the form is. So if I want to change the appearance of the form, I can change its properties. So let us set the background color of the form to red. Select the form by clicking. Go to back color and click on the drop down list here. Go to palette to select the red color from color palette. Now see, the background color of the form is changed to red. So let us see how to save again by clicking on save and then run the project. To run the project, you can go to run menu and click on start or you can press the shortcut F5 or in the standard toolbar, we can click on the start button. If I click here, I'll be executing this project. Now there is only one user interface, which is a blank interface, which is the form one. And it is displayed in immediate window. So to stop this project, I can close this particular window by close button, or I can click on this end button. So I'm clicking on the end button. So now we'll see the next window, which is called the form layout window. Let us see the position of the form inside this window. It is on the top left corner as it is shown here also. If I run the form, it will be displayed exactly at the same place. Now, if I stop, I can use this form layout window to drag this form and position it somewhere at the center. Not exactly, but somewhere in the center. And then I can press F5 to run and see, I'll be able to see the form in the same position where I have dragged and kept in the form layout window. So form layout window is basically used to set the position of the form with respect to the window. So this is the basic interface of Visual Basic. Now two more things are there. This is the design view of the form. Now we can toggle to the code view where you can type code. To do so, we can go to this particular icon which is called the view code icon. If I click there, I'll be able to toggle between the design and the code window. So code view, if I click, I'll make the code view active or code window active. And if I click on this object view, I'll be able to see the form in design. Now we can rearrange it by dragging so that you can see the form and the code view side by side. So this, this particular windows can be resized by resize handles. Now see, 
we are able to see both the windows so we can manually click on each of the windows without clicking here now there is another button called folder view if we create multiple type of objects inside this project similar type of objects can be grouped inside a folder if i see the folder view this particular form will come under this forms folder similarly if i create another report by just right clicking on this and the data report one report will be created now it will be added under the designers folder so this is how this folder view groups similar type of objects so hope you have understood the interface of visual basic in the next session we will create a visual basic project to display a message when a particular button is clicked